How do you feel when you view your friends on Facebook whose lives might look better than yours? Or the mom on the PTA who might seem like a more dedicated mother or any other number of comparisons? Are you just worn out by judgment and feeling judged and comparing and all of it? It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. I mean, there's all this stuff on Facebook and I'm continually, you know, seeing people's home remodels and seeing their darling things that their children said and seeing what they've done on Pinterest and the fabulous recipe they made for Thanksgiving. And I just, it can be very devastating. And as I said at the open of the show, they have now discovered that people who surf around on social media tend to be more depressed. So- yeah, and it's actually a clinical term now called Facebook depression. Oh. And part of it, what they say is that, and, and, and it's, it's like, okay, all of those things could make anybody's stomach hurt just a little bit going, <laughs> like, yes. that isn't me. That is, and it's like, what's wrong with me? What do I care? Because we used to not know this stuff, okay? That really was nobody's business, and yeah. only your best friends knew about it. And yet now we have this new medium to be able to do these things, which has so many great things about it, because it's fun to keep up with people. But part of the problem is, and, and, and this is where they're finding issues, not just with with people as as parents, but they're really seeing it in college-age kids where they're having these kids on campuses and there are major, major problems because uh, they live with uh, carefully curated, like, depictions, you know, of what they see or what they post that don't necessarily provide the full picture. And it's like in the... In the book, I call it a glimpse because my neighbor stopped me one day and she's like, oh, the glimpse, I hate the glimpse. And there happened to be a birthday party at the end of our block and it was, you know, I live in Texas. It was a big party. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you, you could see these massive undertakings, even for a two-year-old, that yeah. it's like, what? And so there goes this pressure, you know, and it's all these things you should be doing that might show that you are a good parent. And so her first thought when she walked out the door was, oh, my gosh, was is, is my kid supposed to be there? And it's like, was he invited? Oh, my goodness. You wonder and it's like, ah, what are you doing? Because that, that may not even be anybody you know. And then she's sitting there in her mind instantly going, is that the kind of party I'm supposed to throw? Is that, because, well, that, is that the party to do? Yeah. And, she's, and she's like, it's the glimpse. It's so terrible. And, and it's this picture. We see them literally on Facebook, on Pinterest, on Instagram, literal pictures. And, but really, that's all it is. It's just a moment. What's the term about what you post on face, Facebook? There's a term. About it's your, um, the highlight reel. Yeah, your highlight reel goes on yeah. Facebook. And so you compare your real your life yeah, yeah, to everybody else's highlight reel. And, and I think it's affecting our teens. I mean, I, I see um, my children that the more their faces on their screens and in their screens, the more kind of grumpy they get. They do get grumpy, and so do we. Okay? Yeah. So, so what do you do with that? Yeah. It's just a moment Okay, the moment, even the people in the moment and on and the people looking at the moment, there are people involved. So step one, it's like realize these are real people just like you and me. And by the way, people are just like you and me. And they are seeing the pictures doing the same thing you are. And there goes this like, can I breathe in the moment? And that's where these words, I'm happy for you, come into play. I'm going to interject and say these are Kay's precious words of wisdom to you. If you're tired, I'm serious. If you're tired of struggling and having your kids struggle with constantly comparing what everybody else is doing and how everybody else looks and how much weight somebody's lost and what their home remodel looks like, if you're struggling with this, Kay has four wonderful words to help you get to a new place and help your kids get to a new place. Tell us about it. 